What's up everyone, it's Baron here. So before we get into it, share this video with your friends, think about subscribing, and check out our channel memberships merch, all the links in the description. But we're really just gonna go into this video, um, do a comparison between the C2 Herc and the Merchman. Yes, I know the Merchman's not in game. Yes, I know the Herc has a lot of great opportunities and a lot of great uses. I don't need to hear it. I don't need to be lectured and abused. I'm not saying that you will. I'm just saying that the people who own Hercs and love them are very passionate and can be pretty aggressive sometimes. Um, so yeah, my opinion is my opinion. Yours is yours. So let me know down in the comments, whatever you think. So we're going to get straight into it. Um, so this is just going to be sort of a rundown on the comparison between these two and the price differences. So there's not a massive difference in price. Merchman being 450, C2 being 400. I know that the Herc's, Herc has 696 cargo, whereas in the Merchman has 3,584. That is, yeah, I know it's a lot. But it's the difference between the ships and what they can actually do in game. Now, a lot of people are gonna see this and be like, well, well you know, the Herc has a lot of uses. Yeah, it does have a lot of uses. But I just don't see the value. I know that later on down the track when the game is released, they're going to give missions based on ships. So if you have a Herc, you probably have like a ground drop, a ground drop mission with the Herc, put a tank in it and then put it on the ground with some people. Uh, with a Merchantman, you probably have heavy freighting missions and you would also have some piracy, maybe combat missions since it does have four size sixes and two size fives. That's, yeah, that's absolutely mental. And the size sixes are controlled by the pilot and they also hide. So we'll, uh, we'll go over that in a minute. So as you can see, the size comparison between these two is quite insane. The cargo on the banner merchant is hidden away up in underneath there and this will fold up and that will close in. Now the ship is getting a rework, we know that. The size sixes are here and they fold out on each side. So there's another opportunity there to make it look like it's not going to be lethal and then bang it is i think for a new player they an unsuspecting player they will just be very very surprised um so we know that the merchantman is 450 dollars it has a lot of uses so it has an onboard uh enclosed market so that you can trade uh, goods and your services so like an escort service security service if you want to sell ships uh like rent ships with people and let them use them we don't know how many ships will be able to spawn though you have a negotiation room which does overlook the cargo room um to look at the cargo for the client if that's what you're giving them are you like awesome craftsmanship absolutely insane it's a great durable ship and so it's really sturdy and obviously the human owners love it um, so amongst the banu a ship can sometimes be passed down from generation to generation so the banu merchantman would be one of those ships um, since it's so good the defense on it is really great obviously it's got a good hull and armor which can take a beating it says it's got a lot of fast engines uh, the merchantman can easily escape and attack with minimal damage to the ship and internal cargo so like i said that cargo is internal it could even be modular later on like the carrick i'm not 100 percent sure we'll just have to see so again concealed weaponry so it conceals um, the weapons for the need of being low key but in the times of need the banners weapons can pack a punch making an ideal in situations of running at pirate blockades so with that as well a lot of people obviously know this about this ship so to normal players it might not be as a surprise unless someone doesn't really know much about the ship and they're new to star citizen and then maybe npcs will be the ones to get caught off guard um, from the ship with the c2 like i've said it doesn't have really many uses for me uh, it's got two size fives that the um, pilot can gun you also got a bunch of new skins for it which is pretty cool but there's nothing really um, too great about the ship. You can obviously fit two tonks in it. You can fit a bunch of vehicles in it. You've got um, rooms upstairs where there's only like four rooms or two rooms or something, which isn't a lot. You've got a nice bridge. I don't mind it. Um, I don't, I honestly, I do see the point of these ships, but I don't see why people go insane for them. Just being the fact that they're nothing really too important. I mean, like look at the size of the Merchantman compared to the Herc. I mean, it's insane. Um, so like I said, you've got massive weapons, massive, massive weapons on the Banner Merchantman, being that they're size 6, obviously, and you can buy it in a pack at the moment, or you can request a CCU like I did. 
So obviously the Merchman is 160 meters by 160 by 65 meters in height, 3500 cargo, 9.6 million kilos, oh, yeah. Um, minimum crew of four, maximum crew of eight, obviously needs a little bit more of a crew to run it. Um, again, with the Herc, you've got a 94 meter length, 70 meter beam, 23 meters in height, 3.1 million kilos, 672 cargo, or 600, I'm pretty sure it's 696. Uh, minimum crew of one, maximum crew of two, but you can have a lot more people in it if you wish to do so. So there is that sort of generality and like fluctuation between the two. But again, like I said, the pure size of the merchantman, I feel like this thing will double in price. It could even triple in price. It might not, it, but it, there's a good chance of it. Um, maybe at the next Alien Week sale, it could double in price, um, but I don't think there's any chance of that at all. But we'll just have to see once the sale becomes available and we can see what the gist is. But you guys know where I stand. You know I like the Merchman. I'm not really hating on the Herc, but I just, I see much more value in a ship this size and what it can actually do in game compared to the C2. So that's my opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I'll see you in the verse.